We are arriving at our final stop in Guatemala, the colonial city of Flores and launching pad to the Mayan ruins of Tikal. We'll explore and find out some interesting history about this small city on the water before trekking into the jungle to see the largest and possibly the oldest of the Maya cities. We made it to Flores. That ride was probably worse. It than was the, worse. It was worse it was than worse. the ride from Atitlan to Simic Champi. It was just as long. So mm. people keep telling us things and like I just don't listen anymore now because that was like, oh, it's like thing. a six hour, it's like a six hour ride. It was 10 and a half hours. Um, and we stopped for 30 minutes or 45 minutes yeah, total 45. probably. Trying and it was that little piece of water where they put all the cars onto little rafts practically that and float them across that held us, one by one. That held us back probably th only like really 30 or 40 minutes. It wasn't too bad because we've had people say that it held them back like two hours. Yeah, we have. But had even say that. with with that not being super long, it was ten and a half hours to get here. Yeah. I mean, what, and we it had is, people getting sick. This one girl like threw up like twice. Had to keep getting out of the van. It was just. It is it six. Was rough. Wait, did I do my math right? It's it's seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. We just got into our room five minutes ago. We left at eight thirty in the morning. And we left at eight thirty. So it was a very long day. So long we were day. going to do to call tomorrow, and I think tomorrow we're just going to take a day and enjoy Flores, and then do to call the next day. Yeah, super stoked to share Flores though because it looks like it's a really cool spot. It's a little colonial kind of modeled town on an island in this lake and it's pretty quaint and small but yeah. looks really promising and so. we're staying at los amigos which i guess is a pretty popular place to stay apparently the guy the guy at gringo's the owner of gringo's hostel actually said that everyone stays here and yeah like, it's a, and we it's have a ac place. in our room for the <laughs> first time so on this entire trip that we've had ac to have ac so yeah is it really yeah oh yeah we didn't even have it in airbnb Oh my gosh. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. we're going to share a little bit of Flores with you guys. Here we See go. See you later. Wah -bah. In pre-Columbian times, Flores was the Maya city of Nojpaten, which means Great Island. It was here on this island that the last independent Maya state held out against the Spanish conquistadors. In 1541, Hernan Cortez actually stopped by Flores on his way to Honduras. And he didn't have time, he was trying to go to Honduras, so he didn't have time to conquer it. So it wasn't until 1697 that Flores was actually conquered by the Spanish. So those who could flee, they did so, and the Itza people hid in the jungle for years. From the ruins of Nojpaten arose the now modern city of Flores. So Flores can actually be regarded as the second oldest continuously inhabited city in the Americas, next to Cholula. Legend has it weaving was first taught to the Mayans 1,500 years ago by Ichel, Mayan goddess of the moon, love, and textiles. Backstrap weaving is an art form passed down for generations connecting one to the next, a beautiful and sacred storytelling and something I was so excited to watch in person. Hope you enjoyed that history lesson. We literally spent the rest of the day eating and drinking our way around this super small city on the water. And we tried our best to enjoy the view from every rooftop restaurant we could find. But we had to get to bed early because we booked a sunrise tour at Tikal, and the shuttle would pick us up at 3.30 in the morning. At 6 a.m., the park is open, and all kinds of animals are out and about. As we walked in, we saw a Maya tree of life. The Ceiba tree is the national tree of Guatemala and the sacred world tree in classic Mayan cosmology. We booked our sunrise tour directly through our hostel Los Amigos. We heard over and over again it was the best way to keep from getting ripped off by many agencies and scammers. It is said the first people lived in Tikal as far as 1000 BC. At its peak around 1200 years ago, Tikal was home to at least 66,000 Maya. The underneath of the temple, they found 16 and a half pounds of jade. They found the body of the king. 
The name is A Cacao. Mr. Coco Bean King Chocolate. A meter 80 and 16 and a half pound necklace. A J mask, bracelet, and a pottery around it. Polychrome ceramic is mean reddish carbon ceramic. That's what we use for drinking and offering. In the front of the stairs, you can see the round circle they use for throne and the sacrificial altars. The big block called Stila, that means recording history. Temple one, the King Chocolate built Temple two in honor to the wife. Coming at sunrise was the way to go. Honestly, when we were told to come because it would be more animals, um, it wouldn't be as hot, there'd be less people, I figured everybody's gonna come at sunrise, so of course there's gonna be more people. But there's literally like less than 10 people in this main courtyard right now. And it's probably about seven o'clock in the morning and the sun's just starting to come out and I'm feeling that it's getting hotter. And so I definitely recommend coming at sunrise. We had a great guide giving us amazing information and there are only like four of us in the group. So definitely come at sunrise if you get the chance to come to Tikal. Tikal is one of the best excavated Maya ruins in the world with more than 3,000 structures and many are still buried. It was an incredibly progressive city with a stadium, schools, libraries, palaces, admin buildings, hospitals, and much more. Even though Tikal was so large, it had no water source. Residents collected rainwater in 10 reservoirs for everyday use. No one really knows for sure how this powerful civilization came to such an abrupt end. Though some historians believe it could be due to drought, warfare, or overpopulation. No one knows for sure. This is um, my throne seat. <laughs> <sighs> Let the games begin. <laughs> Let the games commence. Yeah, they used to play mm. this game. And the winner, guess what the winner got? The winner got his head chopped off. And the honor. And the honor of his head being chopped off. I would, I would love to lose in that game. I usually don't like to lose. I would love to lose in that game. <laughs> when archaeologists back in the 80s work in that complex, they build a tunnel underneath the pyramid first okay. to see the base. And they found five pyramids in the whole area. It's like an onion style, layer on top of layer. Wow. Over and over and over. Between the layers, like between you, me, here, 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 they found offerings, ceramic. When archaeologists collect them, they see pre-early classic period. Well, they stopped the work there, and then next project come, archaeologists build a tunnel inside, and they found the scale model of this place before built. There's stone. Oh, what? Flat with a little path and they found 52 stone monuments 52 weeks in a year and the moon cycle 52 years but this is not a five layers in each layer when excavating they found 73 steps each layer five times 73 365 yeah. the view from top is 360 plus where you stand one east west north south 365 this is astronomical place We're leaving Flores, finally, it's 8.30. We're trying to figure out how to kill time. <laughs> how to kill time because we had like six hours and then we dwindled down to three hours till we had dwindled to Dwindled down to three hours. And then we end up going back to Los Amigos where we stayed. And we're like, okay, we'll just grab some drinks and like we some three fries. Hours. We killed three kill hours. three hours. It took us three hours to get fries. Okay, don't really exaggerate. It was two hours and 15 minutes. But that's still not okay. That's not okay. They ended up giving it them to us on the house. We were like, hey, we gotta go. We have to catch a night bus. We were thinking we could get dinner here before we left. And like, we've been here two hours and where's our papas? Ah. So anyway, now we're trying to wobble down. I had leftover wine from last night and he had one beer, so good for him. So now we're wobbling down cobbly stone streets. Cobbly wobbly. Now we're just going on and on. Cobbly but wobbly hey, streets. Here we go. From the beautiful colonial town of Antigua, 
in Akatanango and Fuego to Habatanango. To Habatanango. Then to the beautiful water and sunsets at Lake Titlan. To Semachampi. To, to Flores. Flores. And to Cal. And then to Cal. The Mayan ruins. Yeah. Guatemala has been a real, oh my gosh. real treat. What a trip. Absolutely. Add it to your bucket list if it's not. Yes. See you in the States. Mwah. But first, you might find this information useful. We took a night bus from Flores to Guatemala City to save on time. It's a seven to nine hour drive. We decided to pay a little more for the semi-comma seat versus a regular reclining chair to make sure we'd be able to sleep during the windy ride to the city. And let's just say it was a great decision. 